Question number 21 says, okay, we need to integrate sine inverse of cos x. How do we handle this? Inverse functions, yes. But once again, trigonometric, inverse trigonometric functions, we can solve with the help of properties. Now, sine inverse of cos x, had this been cos sin x, sin inverse sin x is simple. Or can we convert this in terms of cos inverse? Yes, cos inverse cos x is again simple, right? And I remember that sin inverse x plus is equal to pi by 2, okay, using this idea, using this idea, can I write i equals, okay, this is sin inverse of cos x dx, this is sin inverse of something basically, I can write it as pi by 2 minus cos inverse of that cos something, right, yes, please observe, sin inverse x is pi by 2 minus cos inverse x, right. Simplify it further, cos inverse of cos x is x. This is what you can write it as, yes. Okay. What about all the other possible results of cos inverse cos x? No, we will not be dealing with this. We will be only dealing with the standard interval over here. Right. And now integration is very simple. This is pi by 2, which is a constant. Integral of 1 will be x. Integral of x will be x square by 2 plus a constant. And this is what you get. That is the final solution with the help of this result over here. This is the solution of this particular question.